Thanks, Noel. We've got a wonderful scene here. This is an animal that we very, very seldom see other than a fleeting glimpse. They're usually quite shy, but this slender mongoose has got a good reason why it's hanging around here. We got alerted to its presence by some starlings, of which you can hear them all alarming now. That's them showing their disapproval of the slender mongoose. And as you can see, there's a dead scrub hare. And we can only guess that the slender mongoose has been feeding on the scrub hare. It looks like it's hardly been fed on. It looks like it's almost very fresh. I haven't had a good look at it yet. We literally stopped the vehicle as soon as we saw both the scrub hare and the slender mongoose. Let's keep an eye on the slender mongoose. David is on the move. There it goes. Oh my lord, it's a black mamba that killed the, the, that killed the scrub hare and the black mamba is going up the tree and the, and the mongoose is attacking it. This is absolutely ridiculous. Up a bit, Davy. There we go. Look at this. A ginormous black mamba. And that explains exactly why the scrub hare looks quite fresh. This mamba would have just killed it. And I'm guessing the slender mongoose responded to this scene because of the alarm calls from the birds. Oh my shattered nerves. And I think we should definitely welcome on board as many other people as we can to this fascinating scene. I saw the mongoose running and then I just saw it kind of bite at something. And it actually tried to bite the tail of this black mamba. I thought it was trying to make another kill at first. And then I saw this almighty serpent start slithering about. Good grief. Now, I was telling Dave as we approach the sighting, please could it be a big snake? Please could it not just be a slender mongoose? Have a look at the slender mongoose below there, Dave. D directly below it on the dead stump. Down a bit. Uh, oh, it just jumped down. But it was standing, kind of looking up at the black mamba. And isn't this a wonderful, wonderful kind of David and Goliath display here? The slender mongoose looks like it's trying to work its way higher up this tree. I'm going to reposition ever so slightly. everyone who has just joined us on this unscheduled safari broadcast as you can see there is a snake up in that tree and it is a black mamba one of the most highly venomous snakes that we see in Africa my name's Scott and it's great to have you on board with us now let's take a closer look at the snake as I explain to you what exactly is going on here now we were driving along peacefully it's a cool cloudy afternoon and hoping to find something interesting when we f heard some birds alarm calling it was mainly the starlings that clearly were letting us know that they weren't happy about something. So we drove into this area and it looks like the snake's trying to move. Um, I just want to, it's quite tricky. There's another predator on the scene. Let's show you the, the slender mongoose quickly, Dave. It's just at kind of nine o'clock there. And this was the first predator we actually saw, this tiny little slender mongoose. And I thought, oh, well, as per normal, there's no sign of any snakes, but just a slender mongoose. But then we spotted something else a dead scrub hair and it looked quite fresh to us but I wasn't too sure exactly what was going on it looks like the slender mongoose was want wanting to steal it from the snake can you actually believe what's happening here so this tiny little scrub hair would have been caught by the snake and this mongoose is now trying to steal it now we need to keep a close eye on quite a few moving parts now I'm trying to work out where the snake has gone it started slithering down the tree and with snakes we we've learned that they can disappear so quickly there's no sign of it in the tree anymore that I can see and who knows will this black mamba put up a fight against the slender mongoose which is definitely far smaller than it I'm guessing that black mamba was about three meters in length but the mongoose is showing an incredible display of its strength as it drags what will be an absolute bargain of a meal for it it's going to keep this mongoose fed for days now because we see snakes so seldomly and because that mongoose isn't going to be able to move too quickly i'm going to try and just get us into a spot where we can work out where the snake has gone let's hope it doesn't slither up into the vehicle like i said this is one of the most venomous snakes that we do get out here in africa it's got a highly highly cytotoxic uh, sorry neurotoxic venom 
that against that essentially that will essentially just shut down your organs causing you to die but <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get ourselves into any trouble just yet now I can't for the life of me see where the snake has gone but let's just top, stop and see if we can't have a scan in these bushes it could well have disappeared into any kind of cavities or holes AD you've just mentioned that you've been hoping to see a black mamba for many a safari and this is the first one you've managed to see with us so I'm glad we managed to work that one out for you where could it have gone hmm it's inf incredible how such a big snake can disappear so quickly and there's not really that much undergrowth for it to hide in. Let's keep driving around this kind of fallen down tree and see if we can't get a view of it. My heart is absolutely racing as I'm sure a lot of yours are as well. So much excitement out of the blue. And that is the joy of being on a live safari. I didn't have time to mention where we are and what's going on. We're in South Africa in the Sabi Sands Reserve at the moment. And this is a live safari if you have not gathered that already. Now, no immediate sign of this slithering serpent. But it could just be kind of curled up in a ball somewhere. I'm hoping we get some more views of it. But this snake is a territorial snake, so it'll know this area well. And I'm guessing it would have worked out and remembered a good place to slither off to. And I'm guessing it's somewhere at the base of this tree. It looks like there could be a few hiding places a few holes in and around that root system there. Phew. Now, where has the mongoose dragged the scrub here to? I can see the little mongoose. I think we may have disturbed it ever so slightly, but seeing as though it has just stolen this meal from the snake, <laughs> I'm not too concerned for the time being, and it will come back immediately to where the scrub here is. I'm guessing it's somewhere just in front of us over here. So what we should do is get into a good spot and kind of just sit and patiently wait to see if we can't get any more views of the snake as well as the slender mongoose starting to snack down on the scrub here. Whoo wee! Absolutely awesome, awesome stuff. And seeing as though things seem to have calmed down for the time being, I'm thinking of saying goodbye to everyone who has just temporarily joined us. And if you would like to continue joining on this afternoon safari, uh, you can just Google Safari Live and find us quite easily that way. Thanks very much. We'll see you all next time.